I, uh, born and raised Kansas City, um, and I had always kind of dreamed of leaving, uh, and I did for six years, and I came back, and there was a new energy in town, and I started an internet startup company. Uh, it ultimately failed, uh, but I learned a lot about that, and I learned the value of community, uh, because I think I didn't leverage the people around me and the expertise they had uh, well enough, which led to that failure. And so now I dedicate every waking moment to help build an, a community where young entrepreneurs and, and dreamers can thrive in Kansas City. So wow. um, that's what I do. And one of the things actually that someone at the first service came up and asked is if I do anything with students. Mm -hmm. And actually that's one of the things I'm most excited about is helping students, uh, they found me, um, <laughs> but uh, helping students learn about and get engaged with the entrepreneurial community in Kansas City. So what are some of the, if you could give us three key traits of a, of a person that is an entrepreneur and they really want to be successful, because you know, people always ask, what's the secret? Yeah. There are no real secrets, but there are some key traits that successful entrepreneurs have. Yeah. And, um, so the one that I uh, espouse most is passion. Mm -hmm. um, you have to, being an entrepreneur is not easy. And whenever I talk to a young person that says, I want to be an entrepreneur because I want to set my own schedule or be my own boss, I, t I tell them every time, like, you don't want my schedule. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody, right. nobody wants that schedule. Yeah. But you have to love every second of it. So if you're going to cre create something great, you need to wake up every day fired up to do that. And so that's the one thing I'd say is, and, and with anything, whether it's starting a business or just your job, you're going to be far better at what you do if you love it than um, if you dread every day going to work. So what are a couple of the key things that you did to help propel you? You said you, you, you did a business, but you failed, but you didn't really fail because you learned something. Right. Well, what I learned, and, and this is kind of my motto, is um, now I have a lot of people that reach out to me to connect. And if I, if I don't have a reason to say no, I say yes, because all of the most amazing things that have happened to me have been serendipity. Right. I mean, the whole organization I run now is funded by a gentleman that is passionate about helping build this environment in Kansas City. I had no reason to take a lunch with him outside. He said, hey, I'm interested in talking. And I did. And now we're able to do all these events with students and all the stuff we do. So I would just say, um, you know, reach out and entrepreneurs are very collaborative. They know how hard it is to do it. And if you have a dream, people will take the time to meet with you. So, so what are some of the adverse situations that you faced and, and how did they help you be successful on the other side of the adversity? Yeah, well, I, I talk about this a lot and I was actually on a radio show earlier this week talking about failure. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I think in the Midwest oftentimes we struggle with is we're, we're very conservative and, and failure is something to hide from or run from. And, but um, in that you don't, you don't innovate, you don't create, you don't take chances. And so what I always do and talk with everyone is, it's not celebrating failure, but it's valuing failure mm -hmm. because any, all of us have failed. I, I have a big one that was expensive. Um, but in that, I learned a lot, and I try and use that every day to be better moving forward. And I think if, as a community, we kind of learn from everyone's failures um, or challenges mm -hmm. that we can all be better for it. So we shouldn't be embarrassed to share some failures with people. Well, and th this was exactly the conversation we had. So many times people try and disappear when they fail, mm -hmm. right? Because they're embarrassed. Right. But in reality, the, what they've learned is valuable for all of us to learn from. I hope y'all listening. <laughs> Somebody, so, yeah, that's worth giving a hand clap. <laughs> Um, but you know, I mean, that's what it's all about is, yeah. is if, as long as you gave it your best shot and did yeah. everything you could to be successful and fail, you learned something valuable and it's important to share that with other people. So again, all of you in here, you do that. Like don't hide from it. Talk about it because other people can learn from it too. And hopefully they can avoid making those same mistakes. That's awesome. Now yeah. this is going to air on TV and we've got some folks that are streaming live as my last question. Uh, just give us some advice of maybe three or four things we can do to get on the road to be a successful entrepreneur. Yeah, well, and one of the things I, I actually say is I, I don't recruit people to be entrepreneurs. I mean, to right. me, that is a, that is a life 
that you have to choose to live. You have to wake up and go to sleep thinking and focused on what you're trying to create or you'll probably be, you know, not succeed. But what I say is um, think, uh, be an innovative thinker, entrepreneurial mindset, right? Solve problems, whether you're at work or wanting to start a business, you will be a more valuable employee, a more valuable citizen, a more valuable entrepreneur, whether you're a teacher or at Sprint or an entrepreneur. Um, if you have this, you're willing to take a chance and solve problems instead of like, I, I don't do the minimum. Mm -hmm. The minimum is not good enough for me. And I think if everyone kind of has that mindset, we'll all be better for it. Wow. Uh, and the last piece, sorry, <laughs> I got a little more. Um, the last piece, and I talked about it right, leverage the people around you, right? Like this community has a unbelievable amount of experiences and lessons learned like i said share those i guess i guarantee if someone's struggling with something in here me included there's someone in here that's experienced that before yeah. talk about it and as a community you can lift everybody up fantastic thanks for being here adam